Okay, we just got our first four hours and only 77 miles on the brand new 2013 KTM 350 EXCF. And today was our first day out in the dirt, so we got a little performance report here for you. It's pretty much a stock motorcycle. The important change we did here is uh, reduce the counter sprocket to 13 teeth and put on a 48 tooth rear counter sprocket. With that combination, you can keep the stock chain. And I think that gearing's gonna work perfect for our conditions around here. Real slimy red clay uh, kind of day here above Nevada City. Uh, it just quit raining a few hours ago. The thing performed great. I'm coming off of, uh, my closest comparison would be my uh, little favorite KTM 200 for the tight single track around here. I uh, took this thing out on a lot of that uh, terrain that I'm used to today, the tight single track and it performed really well. I still think I can go a little faster and further on the 200 on the tight single track, but where this thing shines is when you drop it into the kind of train where you can drop it into third and fourth gear. Then this thing rips. That's where it really makes a big difference. Two, uh, I also have the, uh, the um, aftermarket pipe on it at this point. A few more things will be changing along the way. The only two things I've, uh, I would note right now is, uh, one, it's, I got all the stock, uh, smog equipment and all that. And the thing does pop when you let off the gas. I think I'd like to try a cap on the secondary air system and see if I can eliminate that popping. This is my first fuel injected dirt bike. So when you're in the slow and slow conditions, first gear standing up, um, going from, no throttle to cracking that throttle standing up you know with the fuel injectors completely turning off the fuel so suddenly and completely and coupled with the high compression of this new engine it's a little bit of a jerky motion going from no throttle to cracking the throttle so i'd like to see if there's a Maybe maybe it'll improve as the things as we get used to each other and as the engine breaks in, or maybe a cam throttle, or there's some kind of little thingy that you can uh, add to to eliminate that jerkiness right there. But other than that, the thing just rips. It really goes. A couple more observations I'd like to make is if you get in a if you're out adventuring and you get in a position uh, someplace where you shouldn't be, this thing uh, today I got it in some really steep down slope being slimy terrain that I didn't even want to try riding down. It was so steep. This bike is very easy to dismount and bulldog it down the hill. It's so light and, and so easy to just uh, walk it out of any kind of predicament you get into. If you get stuck going uphill um, into someplace you don't want to be, it's very easy to dismount, back up, turn around, spin around, and get it out of there. I think that would be a significant advantage over the 500, the ease and ability to get in and out of places maybe you shouldn't be, which is what you're doing with this thing, adventuring. Despite the really slimy conditions, the front end did not wash out one time on me. Well, one time pilot error, but the machine had tracked great with these stock tires and the stock suspension. I haven't changed the suspension settings one bit. <clears throat> uh, I'm a 180 pound uh, rider without my gear. The with this uh, gearing 1348, it tractored up the steepest, slimiest slopes just fine, uh, w either with a little bit of wheel spin or clutching. But with today's slimy conditions, the wheel spin and the traction was just perfect for tractoring up low RPM up the steepest slopes. But the machine does like uh, RPM. That's why they call her. Why they say it rips. She does prefer. She does have her power band, and she she really gets moving when you get the RPM up a little bit. With this thirteen forty eight uh, gearing at sixty miles an hour, she's singing pretty good. So that's going to work out just fine for the kind of terrain around here. Fantastic machine. You don't need that five hundred. Get the three fifty. Get them before they're all sold out. <laughs>